clean visual appearance, surfaces are often contaminated by microorganisms. Therefore, a microbial analysis is required. The most used techniques are based on culture methods, such as surface sampling with contact plates. The media is pressed onto the surface for a few seconds and then incubated. Note that the sampling yield is very low. The result is obtained only after 24 to 72 hours, which is too long to be efficient. Furthermore, this technique is limited to cultivable bacteria, whose number varies according to the temperature, incubation time and culture media. Quantitative ATP metry, on the other hand, gives an overall assessment of the total flora in just two minutes. Sampling is done using a moistened swab, which maximizes the sampling yield. We place the sampling template onto the surface and thoroughly swab the delimited area. Microorganisms are immediately destroyed and the ATP is freed. Then we add six drops of extractant into the Lumi tube, which already contains the enzymatic compounds. We plunge the swab in the tube and instantly the ATP reacts with the enzyme and produces light. The quantity of emitted light is proportional to the quantity of microorganisms. We then measure this emitted light with a luminometer. The result is obtained in just 10 seconds. We note the first result, R1, corresponding to the quantity of ATP contained in the sample. The next step, unlike with traditional ATP tests to get a quantitative result, we do an internal calibration, add one drop of standard, which contains a precise quantity of ATP, ensuring the reliability of the measurement, while at the same time avoiding false negatives and validating your cleaning and disinfection seamlessly. Now, perform a second measurement. Note the result R2. Finally, an app helps you to interpret your results directly. Enter the surface size and the two results obtained. Simple as that. The app specifies the quantity of bacteria on your surface thanks to a color code. You're informed if a corrective action is required.